Now, your Midday Arklamas News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Rackenzie Dunnigan with your Midday Arklamas Update. As most of you know, freezing temperatures has hit South Arkansas, and we want to remind you about ways to protect your pipes from freezing over. NBC 10 Scarlett Gully spoke with the local plumbing company. Hey guys, it's officially winter, and many South Arkansas cities will see temperatures well below freezing tonight, leading into Christmas. So if you haven't yet, now is the time to prepare your house. I spoke to a local plumbing supply company that says pipes and water lines are most acceptable to freeze this time of the year. Right when the freezing weather comes in, customers get to call and they want to insulate their pipes and get faucet cover protectors and, you know, want to know what to do for, you know, freezing temperatures and how to protect their pipes and keep them from busting and having to call the plumber. John Desso is the branch manager at Falk Plumbing Supply. As temps continue making significant downfall, he recommends a few last minute steps you can take to prevent your pipes from freezing and rupturing. Last minute, you don't got nothing to protect your pipes with. Just try to keep your water flowing, keep your house warm, open the cabinet doors up under your kitchen uh, sink, up under your bathroom sink. Make sure wherever your hot water heat is located at, make sure it's warm and it's covered and protected. And for pipes that are exposed outside? A pipe that's running to a water hydrant that you can see that's visible, you'll just open it up and put it over the pipe, take these coverings off right here and they'll stick together and they'll, it'll protect your pipe, it'll insulate it and it'll keep the water from freezing. Desso says if you follow these recommended tips, you could be saving your home and your money from costly damages. In El Dorado, reporting for local news that matters, I'm Scarlett Gully. Continue our freezing weather coverage. If any damage occurs, take pictures as soon as you can. If you're forced to call a contractor, start with asking, asking your friend or family for a reputable one. You can look the contractor up on the Louisiana Contractors Licensing Board website. You can verify if they're legit or if they had any complaints filed. Don't forget the contract, make it as don't forget the contract, make it as detailed as possible. Also avoid paying for the entire job up front. The state recommends one third paid in advance, one third paid halfway through the job, and one third paid when it's completed. Be sure to never make the final payment until you've had the opportunity to inspect the work. The Salvation Army in El Dorado needs your help. The need for bell ringers is higher now as they get closer to the end of their fundraiser. Major David Robinson says yesterday's calculations show $55,000 raised so far, but there's still more to go to hit their $70,000 goal. All money raised will go right back into the Army throughout the next year. Sign up to volunteer at register terrain.com or drop off donations at 409 South Madison Avenue. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamas, Jared Floyd. Not a lot of encouraging signs in terms of trying to warm up through the course of the day. We were in the single digits and uh, low teens to start the morning off. We're going to climb into the upper 20s. That's as good as we can do today, folks. So make sure you're staying warm safely, that all heat uh, sources are in proper working order, that they're pulled away from uh, curtains and drapes and rugs and carpets, things that can cause fire. And also, make sure that your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors are working. Make sure overnight tonight that you leave those faucets on a drip or a, drip or a trickle because you're going to need that uh, to ensure that your pipes don't freeze back over. Lows tonight will be back in the mid-teens. Low teens for some, and the wind's still a factor, not as big of a factor. Uh, still probably pushing wind chills into the single digits to start the morning off tomorrow. Christmas Day, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day looking a little bit better. We'll climb back above freezing for at least a period of time on Saturday. And then Christmas Day near 40 degrees, which is a lot better than what we're going to deal with today. Morning lows will stay well below freezing even into the early parts of next week. But a quick warm up back into the 60s, even approaching 70 by this time next week. Overnight lows back in the low 50s with a chance of rain returning next Thursday and Friday. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues now. Merry Christmas.